مرحبا معكم مهندس تمام من شركه اي سي سي واليوم بدنا نشرح ليتس سي تكمله فيديو للبايبينج اند انستمنتيشن دايجرامز ناو بي ان اي ديز احنا حكينا احنا شرحناهم وحكينا اكزامبلز عنهم وكمان حكينا انه اليوجولي بي ان اي ديز ار درون يوزينج مايكروسوفت فيزي وي ديت مالتيبل اكزامبلز اون ذيم Uh, اليوم بدنا نشرح عن how to draw a compressor using or PNID for a compressor using the Visio program. So أول شيء بدنا نسوي نحن بدنا نفتح Visio. The Visio application. نحكي basic diagram و create a new basic diagram. Now أول شيء Visio راح يعطيني let's say the shapes that I need for my process. فبدي أحطهم أنا بسوي add engineering the process. بدي ال pumps و بدي ال instruments و بدي ال pipelines for this case. أول شيء بنعمله بنحط major pipeline اللي هو بداية ال compressor و next بدنا ال compressor itself بنروح على ال pumps هي هون و بنختار selected compressor. Let's change شوي ال view على أساس إنه it's more فعم نزون مشان احنا نقدر نتحكم نكبر شوي ال compressor and as soon as you move it you see that green box that pops up that means it's connecting to the line that we just drew next we're going to add another pipeline which is leaving the compressor so here's a pipeline here's a major pipeline And then we can use another pipeline to add the, we can just copy paste it, to add the motor itself. So we connect it in here. That's not connected yet. If I see like it's not connected, I simply just zoom. It makes it easier for me to connect anything to the actual equipment that I'm using. Let's straighten this out a bit. Perfect. And now I just need a circle for the motor. We can just use basic shapes for that. And we can just add a circle. Well, that is way too big. We're gonna make it smaller. And we're gonna add it again with the green box or that pops up, the mini green box. We add it. Now I wanna add something or a text inside it. So what I do is I press insert and I press text box. And I just add the textbook where I want it, which is inside the compressor. And I just write motor. If you feel like, for example, it's here. Oh, that's wrong. One second. If you feel like the text, is, then we're just going to place it in the middle of the box. Or oh, sorry, the circle. Now, if you look, at, if we take a look at the PNID, what, what's the control loop? What is going on with the compressor? The compressor, we're looking at the main variable, which is obviously the pressure. So we need the pressure indicator, pressure transmitter, and pressure indicator and controller that goes on to the motor. So let's add the first thing, which is the pressure indicator. So I'm going to go to instruments. That's OK. We'll add one ourselves. But usually, it gives you a line, no problem. So we're going to add a pipeline from the actual indicator to this. We can zoom to make sure it's actually connected, because otherwise, when you start copying it and moving it, it won't connect. So this way, it's actually connected. Next, we can double click on it, which is the pressure indicator, to simply add PI. PI meaning a pressure indicator. So PI. Next, if we, look, if we take a look at the diagram, we are also going to need a P here, a PT and a PIC. So let's add those, then we can talk about the connections between them. So if we go back to instruments, we can add in here being the P T and in here being the PIC. And we need a connection between these two. So let's minimize this. So it makes it a bit easier for us. Okay, in here we're gonna need 
the PT, which is the pressure transmitter. And here we're gonna need the PIC, which is the pressure indicator controller. Now the connections between them are a bit different than the capillary, which is the basic connection in here for the PI. So if we take a look in here, we have, we need electric connections and we need a pneumatic or a pneumatic connection. So if you go to instruments, if you go all the way down, you can see what we have. In here we have electric, this is the electric that we need, which is electric three. Simply just connect it. Done. And without even just, uh, if we just ultra copy, we have the same one. So we can just paste it and we connect it in here. So now we have both electric lines, but the line between the PIC and the motor is actually a pneumatic line. So if you take a look in here, we need this line, the pneumatic line, which is already here. So we just drag it from the instrument itself. We connect it to the motor and then we connect it to the PIC. And that's simply how we create a piping and instrumentational diagram for the compressor. What does it do? Basically, if whatever gas is being compressed inside, it's leaving the compressor. Why is leaving the compressor? I'm gonna add a P pressure indicator. Why do I add a pressure indicator? So it gives me, it indicates the pressure that's leaving the compressor. As soon as it indicates it, it sends an electric signal to the pressure transmitter, which also sends another electric signal that the pressure indicator controller can read. Now, once the pressure indicator controller gets the signal, it will, it will work, it will act on it, let's say. For example, if the pressure leaving the compressor is way higher than the design pressure, the pressure indicator controller will order the motor through this pneumatic signal to decrease its efficiency. And vice versa, if the pressure leaving the compressor is actually way too low, the pressure indicator will, uh, will indicate this pressure and the signal will work, will, wait, will, like, will work it through to the controller and the controller will just order the motor to basically increase its efficiency or the motor will increase the efficiency of the compressor and it will reach the design pressure that I need. Thank you very much. Inshallah, in the next videos, I'm going to be going through the, the next ones. The next one would be the heat exchanger. Thank you very much.